Namaste. Today's video is the continuation of the last video that is the major crops, the favorable climatic conditions needed for the growth of major crops. We came across rice, wheat, sugar cane, tea, coffee, etc. So now we are moving towards oil seeds. What about the oil seeds? That is groundnut, rape seed, linseed, mustard, sesam, castor seed, cotton seed, coconut, sunflower, soya bean and sunflower. Then let us see the details what is given in the textbook. It is groundnut. India is the second largest producer after China. It is a curry crop. It accounts half of the major production of oil seeds. Gujarat, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu. That is the order of largest producers of groundnut. And one thing about the oil seeds, about 12% is the total crop area come under production of oil seeds. Then rape seed, that is according to 2015, it is the third largest producer. India is the third largest producer. Second one is Canada and the first country is the first largest country is the China. Then third one, linseed, that is a rabi crop. Here, groundnut is, it is a kharif crop. Then linseed is a rabi crop. Then mustard is also a rabi crop. Then sesame, that is uh, til, also uh, another name. North it is a kharif crop and south it is a rabi crop. And uh, castor seed, that is a kharif crop and rabi crop. And uh, seventh one it is cotton seed, whatever it is given in the textbook I am giving you. And uh, coconut, then comes a uh, soya bean. So what is the importance of the oil seeds? Uh, most of these are edible, they are used for cooking and uh, medicines, sorry cooking medium. It is edible cooking medium then it is also used for as a raw material for soap cosmetics and uh, ointments that is about the oil seeds uh, given here then about the horticulture about the horticulture in 2015, India is the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables. And uh, here we are producing tropical and temperate fruits. Tropical and temperate fruits. And mangoes, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, UP and West Bengal. Maharashtra is the largest producer. Then orange, Nagpur, Maharashtra, Chirapunji, that is Chirapunji in Meghalaya, Nagpur is in Maharashtra. So two states, Maharashtra and Meghalaya, orange production. Then uh, banana, that is Kerala, Mizoram, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. Then Lichi and Guva, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. And pineapple, Meghalaya, pineapple, Meghalaya. Grapes uh, of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra and apples. Pears, pears and uh, apples, pears and apricots, walnuts. These are from Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh. These are the largest producers of these fruits. Then now let us see about the fiber crops. Fiber crops, rubber, cotton, jute, hemp and silk. And uh, here... Rubber, it is equatorial tropical, equatorial crop, tropical crop and subtropical crop. Temperature 25 degrees Celsius, rainfall 200 centimeter. Largest producers, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andamans and Cover Islands, Garo Hills and Me of Meghalaya. Garo, Khasi, Jendi, you know, so among them Garo Hills of Meghalaya. Then cotton, it is a kharif crop. And uh, the origin of cotton, that is home land of cotton production is India, second largest producer after China. It needs drier parts, 
it needs really black soil it we can see in the drier parts of deccan plateau high temperature light rain and 2000 210 frost free days then uh, bright sunshine black cotton soil uh, largest producers maharashtra gujarat madhya pradesh karnataka andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu punjab haryana and uttar pradesh then comes jute high temperature well drained fertile soil in the flat plains is jute you know that uh, while the ganga gagara gangta koshi chambal ganga yamuna all these rivers that uh, majority of the rivers of these rivers are emptying into the uh, bay of bengal there we can see the flat plains where we can see it is famous for the sundari bans that is uh, the biggest delta also to sundarbans so that is the flood plains for till flood plains you can see the jute so uh, it is also known as a golden fiber then gunny bags mats ropes yarn carpets artifacts there is all type of products traditional type of products then high because of the high cost it is losing its market so that is important challenge faced by jute production high cost losing markets because instead of five jute uh, the substitutes are there what are they synthetic fibers are there packing materials are there packing materials are there especially nylon then largest producers are west bengal bihar assam odisha meghalaya then comes hemp so all these crops are grown in uh, all these fibers we get to the crops grown in soil and uh, silk only we get from cocoon that is silk worm fed on green leaves of mulberry so rearing of silk worm uh, we call it as a sericulture and uh, so uh, silk is a, an, another fiber so uh, these are the fiber crops rubber cotton jute and hemp they are these fibers we get from the crops grown in soil and silk we get from the cocoon that is the silk worm fed on green leaves of mulberry trees then then hemp this is the type of leaf regarding hemp uh, tree this leaf it is given that type of picture just i have seen there that i am showing you these are about the fiber crops so we have seen all the important crops Yes, um, I think it will be a little helpful for you for learning the agriculture products. I hope uh, your revision is completing. Almost you are completing. Two more days left. Thank you, children. All the best.